everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this makeup look right here. It is a full on glam makeup look specifically for Valentine's Day. I did pinks and a little bit of like dark purples and of course red lips. So if you're interested in how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and help me grow and keep watching. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this look with the eyes is a little bit heavier, so I definitely wanna start with my eyes first. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC um, Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. The next thing um, you'll wanna do is set the eye primer. So I am just gonna take this shade right here from the uh, Tartlet palette. It's called Super Mom. It's just a nice, um, light skin tone color and any brush will work to do this you just need to set your eye so that it's not like sticky and so that the other shadows will blend well okay so now we're going to need a transition shade so i'm going to use my mac 286 blending brush with this shade from the tartlet palette right here it's called natural beauty this one and i'm just going to put that through my crease just to create a nice transition shade for the rest of my um, shadows okay so once i have my transi transition shade down i'm gonna move into a little bit of a darker color so i'm really gonna focus mostly on all of these purpley colors on the middle row so with a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Best Friend. And I'm going to um, put this through the crease as well, but focus it a little bit more like right in the crease just to um, create a little bit of definition. And I also like to bring it um, like a V shape like this towards my lash line. And that just creates a good cat shape um, for my eyes and take it out a little bit and it's okay if it doesn't look perfect at first because I always like to go back through with my fluffier blending brush to blend out all the sh shadows The last thing I'm going to do with this um, right now is with the same brush, I'm going to take the darkest purple color right here. It's called Bombshell. And I'm just going to really focus that on the outer corner just to deepen it up. And I am um, blending it into my lid a little bit just to create some shadow. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the first brush I used, which was a MAC 286, and I'm going to take this pink color right here. It's called Caregiver, and I'm just going to use this color to like blend everything out and soften it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Huda, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And I want to take a really pretty pink color. Um, this color right here, it's called Angelic. It's a really, let me see, really pretty pink shimmery color. Okay, so I'm going to take this color on a MAC 213 brush. And I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus to spray the brush first. And this will just help pick up that shimmery shade a little bit better. And I'm going to put that on my lid. So I have the um, shadow on my eyes and I didn't really do a cut crease or anything. I honestly put the shadow kind of all over my lid area so it, 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 it blended a little bit with those um, crease colors that we put in there but I like the way that looks. I kind of wanted it to be an all over type of look. So I'm going to take the MAC 286 one more time and just blend around the crease area to make sure there's no harsh, harsh edges. 
Okay, so then the last step to this look is I'm going to add a little bit extra glitter just to give it a little bit more sparkle and make it more fun. So I've used this before, but this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow um, Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Rose Gold Retro, and it's really a very similar color to um, what I just put on, but it's like a liquid eyeshadow. So I'm just going to kind of like place it on my lid just on top of the shadow. And then I'm going to take that same brush and just kind of spread it out. And the eyeshadow portion is done. Let me see if I can get closer so you can really see how pretty this looks. Before I move on and do um, eyeliner, I'm going to just take a makeup wipe and clean up the eyeshadow underneath and on the side right here. So for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D ink liner. This is in the color Trooper, which is just black. And it's going to be hard for me to film this because I have eyelash extensions and it's kind of difficult to do um, eyeliner with eyelash extensions, but I'm just doing a little tiny wing. So now I'm going to do the base and my eyebrows, and I'm just going to do it really, really quickly and not really talk about it just because it's self-explanatory, I feel like. Um, but I'm using my new NARS foundation. It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and my Becca Concealer. And I'm going to set my under eyes with my Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Okay, so I put on my foundation and did my concealer and my brows and I set my concealer. So now we can do the lower lash line. I'm thinking for the lower lash line, I might want to do a pop of color and do like a burgundy. I am going to do red lips. So I think it might tie in the red lips with like the pinky colors. Obviously, anytime I want to do a red eyeshadow, I go for my Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm going to use Venetian Red right here. I'm going to take that with a Morphe E36 skinny little pencil brush. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of Love Letter too. It's this hot pink right here. I think that'll just make it a little brighter. Now I definitely don't just want to leave it red like this because it just looks a little bit like sickly almost. So I'm just going to do um, Cypress, Cypress, Umber, whatever, this dark brown color up here with a Morphe M432, looks like this. And just go along the lower lash line just to add the like smokiness that we need. All right, and the last step to eyes is gonna be um, mascara. So I have eyelash extensions, so I don't put mascara on my top lashes, but I'm going to put it on the lower lash line. I'm gonna do a little highlighting. I'm gonna use both of my Becca highlighting palettes. Uh, I'm gonna use this one for like the main highlighter on my cheekbones. I'm gonna use my Sephora fan brush and this um, champagne pop right here to highlight my cheekbones. I'm gonna go down my nose a little bit. And next I'm gonna take a MAC 137 brush. It's really fluffy and puts the product on really pretty. And I'm gonna use this color right here in the Becca palette with Chrissy Teigen. A little more like on my cheekbones right here. And now for bronzer, I'm using a new bronzer today. This one's by Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and it's the color Nude Bronze Light. 
looks like this it's pretty I'm going to use the Mac 135 brush it's the bigger bronzing brush and I'm just gonna go right up under my highlight to bronze Just to make sure everything's blended together and uh, nothing's too harsh, I'm going to take my huge Morphe brush, this is the E41, and just kind of diffuse everything. Okay, so the very last step to this look is going to be lips. And I, like I said, really wanted to do a red lip. Um, it's going to be really, really bright, but I think it's going to be pretty. But, of course, you can do nude or pink if you want a softer look for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, and this is in the color Kiss and Tell, it's just a bright red. And I'm going to fill that in with this Power Mate Lip Pigment by NARS, and it's in the color Don't Stop, and it's just a liquid lipstick. I'm going to start over with the lipstick. For some reason it was super difficult, so I'm going to use this lip brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills to line my lips because that lip liner was like not the right color at all. Okay, so that worked a lot better using that brush. That's just a lot easier for me. So the last step is going to be setting with, I'm gonna use Fix Plus today. I just don't want it to be super luminous. And this is the completed look for my full glam makeup look for Valentine's Day. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and have a happy Valentine's Day. And I will see everyone in my next video. Bye!